welcome back to my channel so today I'm actually so excited to share this video with you today um, this is a get ready with me for working at Sephora I have to work this afternoon and I thought it would be really fun to film a get ready with me so you guys can see um, you know the process that I go through um, to get ready for work at Sephora we are required to wear a minimum amount of makeup um, but you know, being a beauty lover, I usually wear most of that anyways. Um, we're supposed to wear, I think, either two or three eyeshadows a day, uh, mascara, some sort of complexion, whether it be foundation or BB or CC cream, something like that, and a lip product. So today I got ready using my brand new um, palette from Kat Von D. This is the Mi Vida Loca palette. And I mean, just look how beautiful she is. She's gorgeous. She is so pretty. Um, the the actual case itself is just I mean beyond words I can't even describe how beautiful it is and then the shadows that you get inside the shade range is absolutely amazing and gorgeous and um, when I opened this up today and I was trying to decide what to do um, here in Western Washington all the leaves are changing colors there's orange and yellow and red and all these beautiful fall colors and my daughter and I were talking about it on the way home and I was like, you know what? I just feel a little inspired. So I kind of stuck to this little side of the wheel here and did a lot of kind of fall colors. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching this get ready with me. Um, and I am also going to film a review on this palette. Um, kind of like a first impressions actually because I haven't had a lot of time with it yet. But um, I probably will... I'm not sure which video I'll post first, but I will make sure to link the other video for you in case you're watching, in case you're interested in watching the review on this palette. So stay tuned for that. If it's not already up, it will be up soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Bye guys. So I have already done my complexion and brows, and I will be starting by priming my lid using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid all the way up to my brow. We will be using the Mi Vida Loca palette today. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful she is. And I'm going to start by using the shade Stretter and I'm actually applying that right over my lid. I was hoping it would be a little lighter than it turned out to be. This is a cool tone brown. Um, this would be a really great transition shade. Um, but like I said, it, I thought it was going to be a little bit more neutral than it turned out to be. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this really well here so that I don't have any harsh lines. Next, I will be applying the shade Analog, which is a gorgeous, bright, vibrant matte orange, just onto the center of my lid, leaving a little bit of a blank space on the inner corner. Next, I will be picking up the shade Lyric, and on a little e.l.f. shader brush, I will be applying this just below my brow to create a highlight. And this has a little bit of shimmer, but it's very subtle. This is a gorgeous highlight shade. Now using this same brush, I will be picking up the shade Tran, which is a very vibrant canary yellow, and applying that to the inner corner of my eye, also dragging it down the first third of my lash line as well. Now using this fluffy blending brush, I will be blending those two shades together just so there are no harsh lines and creating a very nice gradient look. Next, I will be using the shade Harpsichord on a little pencil brush, and this I'm going to be putting on the outer V and actually dragging it um, most of the way through my crease as well, just leaving kind of the first part where the yellow is blank. And I'll be doing that on both sides here. 
I'll be using the same brush and the same shade now on the rest of my lash line, taking it all the way to where that yellow began. Now using another pencil brush, I will be picking up the shade Rewind, which is a beautiful cranberry with shimmer, and that is going to be concentrated just on the outer V for this look. Now, of course, I'm just going to blend, 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 just to make sure that there, again, are no harsh lines and everything is blended seamlessly together. So this is the finished shadow look, and now we will go ahead and do some liner. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liner in the shade brown. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lower lash line all the way into the inner corner on both sides. So this will just give it a little bit more of a polished look on the bottom lash line and it also helps the orange and yellow that we have down on that lower lash line kind of pop. Now I will be lining the uh, top lash line using my Kat Von D liner in the shade Trooper. I did not um, show the camera this one, sorry guys, but um, it is a great liquid liner and it's super easy to use and I will be winging this out pretty significantly. So I'll go ahead and do both eyes. Now I'm just prepping my lashes for mascara. This is the Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer, and I will follow this by using the Makeup Forever um, Aqua Smoky Lash, and I will show you the finished product. And then finally, I added my lipstick, which um, this is from Rimmel. It's the Kate lipstick in the shade 107. So this is the overall look. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me slash tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.